Hello friends you all must be aware about the connecting rod of a genset transfers the entire power generated during the combustion process from the piston pin to the crankshaft thereby converting the reciprocating energy into the rotational energy in this process of energy conversion the pond rod is acted upon different forces all these forces accumulate to create a symmetric and dynamic wear and tear of the big end bearing housing thereby affecting the ovality of the big end bearing therefore the ovality of the big end bearing housing has to be checked on regular basis during each maintenance in this video i'll demonstrate you the step by step procedures to measure the pond rod ovality The inside micrometer is used to measure the readings of the big end bearing housing. Friends, prior use of this inside micrometer, it is very important to calibrate the micrometer in order to ensure the accuracy in the readings. So first calibrate the micrometer using a template provided in the set. Using a special spanner, adjust the sleeve such that the zero markings on the sleeve and thimble are in line once confirmed there is zero error in the readings attach the micrometer head with the extension rods of length as required before conducting the measurements both the bearing shells needs to be removed and the pond rod bolts are to be tightened to the sitting torque mentioned in the manual make the markings on the forward side of the pond rod at a distance of approximately 30 degrees on both halves of the bearing housing now start taking the readings at the mark positions carefully read the micrometer reading and note it down at position a a continue taking the readings at different positions during measurements align the micrometer by slightly moving in port starboard and forward aft directions to gauge the maximum length between the halves Once the forward side readings are recorded follow the same procedures and record the readings on the aft side of the connecting rod evaluate the maximum readings and in case the values are exceeding the limits specified in the manual the connecting rod needs to be replaced with new one guys also do check the bending of the connecting rod and the die penetrant test of the serrations between both the halves do subscribe my channel to know the procedures to check the straightness of the connecting rod wish you all a safe seas and healthy stay on board Thank you.